who's, who's going to go next? Are we you're done with We're done, we're done now. I thank the council. Okay. Now, now say we'll go and call Jim Ambrosino. Good afternoon, raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm the testimony is up that will be the truth, all truth, and nothing but truth? I do. State your name for the record. Jim Ambrosino. That's A M B R O S I N O. Your witness? Dr. Ambrosino, we've been having a little trouble today hearing the witnesses. So please try to speak up a little bit. There's even a microphone there if you can kind of lean over a little bit. Um, who is your current employer? Cardno. And your current title or position? Senior project archaeologist. And what are your job duties? Uh, my duties duties are to uh, oversee archaeological projects, uh, architectural historic historical projects, all of our cultural resource studies, including uh, field work, lab work, uh, general project management, and write up. And just please uh, describe your post secondary education. Uh, I have an undergraduate degree, a Bachelor of Statistics uh, from University of Delaware. Uh, I also have an MA in Anthropology uh, with a specialization in Archaeology from University of Iowa, and a PhD in Anthropology with specialization in Archaeology from Southern Methodist University. Your Honor, move to qualify Mr. Ambrosino as an expert in Archaeology. Any objection? Uh, I, no, no. Who's recognizing it for that? Dr. Ambrosino, let me refer you to tab 7 uh, of the binder that's marked connotation, which uh, has been pre marked as Sable Trail Exhibit for identification number 7, and ask if you would identify that document, please. This is my current resume. We need a We need a two minute break. Two minute break. <laughs> 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 I'm break. There's one. You can get some out back right Is there anything else he's missing to ask? <laughs> Previously, she, she said she didn't have any questions for a chance. I'm trying no, no. to make sure things get asked. No, no, that's good. Uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Prasino. Uh, we were looking at uh, the document that is tab 7 of the binder marked prima facie, which is pre marked as Sable Trail Exhibit for identification number 7, and you were about to identify that document. Yes, this is my current resume. Does it appear to be uh, current and accurate? Yes, it looks like my most recent resume, yes. Thank you. Uh, please uh, summarize your, briefly summarize your employment history relating to archaeology. Uh, I've been in cultural resource management for about 25 years. Uh, I've directed projects since 1998, and I've directed projects in Florida since 1999. And did that experience relating to linear facilities? Yes, both uh, pipelines and highway work. Are you familiar with the Sable Trail Pipeline Project? Yes, I am. And how are you familiar with that project? I directed the cultural resource investigations along uh, the Florida portion. What is a cultural resources assessment survey? It's the. Uh, it's also called a phase one survey. Uh, it is the initial survey where we identify archaeological sites and historic structures or other resources that could be affected by the project, and give an assessment as to potential eligibility for the National Register of Historic Places, or the NRHP. And if I wasn't clear, did you conduct or supervise the Cultural Resources Assessment Survey for the Sable Trail Pipeline Project? Yes, I did. Uh, and the, the personnel who worked on that, uh, did they meet the uh, Secretary of Interior's professional qualifications for uh, doing such surveys? 
Uh, yes, uh, the ones who oversaw the, the work did. And briefly describe how the survey was conducted. Uh, we essentially uh, do a two-part thing. The first part is a background study where we look at previous surveys that have been done in the area and uh, give us a baseline and develop a probability model. And then we go out and do the field work uh, where we actually field test uh, the entire route. Was the survey conducted uh, pursuant to a protocol that was approved by the State Historic Preservation Officer? Yes. Is there an acronym for that ungangly term? Uh, SHPO. Thank you. <laughs> um, and as part of this, uh, your survey of this project, did you determine whether any sites were actually, actually archaeological, archaeologically significant? Uh, during the course of the project, there were three sites that were uh, actually significant. Uh, one of those was previously uh, evaluated by the SHPO as actually significant, and that was avoided by project design. Uh, we identified two others later on during uh, some of our investigations, and those were also avoided by project design. Uh, just explain, please, for a moment, when you say you identified, is that the final word on whether or not a site is archaeologically significant? Well, we make a recommendation, and the SHPO either agrees or disagrees with that recommendation. Thank you. And in this case, did the SHPO agree or disagree with your recommendation? The SHPO did concur with our recommendation. And so, if I may uh, just characterize your testimony, you, you found three, but all three were avoided by the project? Correct. Okay. Has the survey of the entire project been completed? Yes, it has. What conclusions did you reach with regard to whether or not the proposed project is likely to have an adverse effect on significant archaeological or historical resources? Uh, given our findings, it's my opinion that uh, the project will have no adverse effect on any significant uh, archaeological sites or historic resources. Do you anticipate any adverse secondary impacts to significant historical or archaeological resources? No, I don't. And why do you say that? Uh, because we also take into uh, account in our assessments uh, secondary effects such as uh, uh, construction traffic and things along that sort. Do you anticipate any secondary impacts to any significant historical resources? Uh, no. And the reason for that? Uh, again, we, we look at uh, other types of visual effects in assessing, making our assessments, and also uh, things like increased uh, maintenance traffic during operation of the pipeline. Do you anticipate, I think I asked you about the construction, let me ask you now about the operation of the pipeline. Do you anticipate any um, any adverse in impacts to historical or archaeological resources as a consequence of the operation of the pipeline? No, I don't. Did you draft any portions of the ERP application? I didn't draft them, but I did review them. Okay, if you would please look at tab 8 of the binder that is marked by the uh, it's been pre-marked as Sable Trail excerpt exhibit for identification number eight. And just for clarity, I hope it's clarity, this is taken from joint exhibit for identification three. Uh, and ask if you could uh, have a look at sections 4.5, 5.9, and 6.4 and tell us what those are. Those are the cultural resource sections of the report that I reviewed. Yeah, those are from the ERP. <coughs> are you familiar with the portions of the FERC draft environmental impact statement pertaining to the potential effect of the project on cultural resources? Yes, I am. And what were those conclusions? Uh, they basically said that uh, uh, although there are a couple sites uh, that are significant or that uh, may potentially be significant. 
that the project would, single trail project would avoid them or would uh, conduct the necessary studies to further evaluate them if needed. Are the conclusions in the draft environmental impact statement consistent with your own opinions that you've expressed here today? Yes, they are. Nothing further, Your Honor. Department, any questions? No questions, Judge. Cross, Ms. Wilson. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Brizino. Brizino? Ambrosino. Ambrosino. Thank you, sir. Um, you referenced a phase one survey, cultural resources? Correct. Is there a phase two survey? There are some phase two surveys also. Did you uh, conduct a phase two survey? Yes, we conducted several phase two investigations. Is the phase two complete? Yes, they are. Is there a phase three? Uh, phase three is only needed if a phase two uh, found any sites that are actually significant and would be affected by the project. And we were able to avoid all of those. Okay. When you uh, reach your conclusions as to whether or not there's an affected site, what are you taking into consideration? What type of materials? What type of resources? Uh, for archaeological sites, uh, we look at uh, the density of the material that's present, uh, whether it uh, can tell us something scientific about the, the people who live there. Uh, for example, if there's datable material, uh, any special type of material, such as uh, remains of what the people could have been eating or uh, you could do specialized studies on and also how intact the site is. And when you say we, you refer to anyone else at uh, Cardo besides yourself? I'm talking about uh, the archaeologists who are working on the project. So the uh, fellows actually go out and dig below the surface? Correct. And, and uh, fellows and fellows, I suppose. Uh, are you among them? Uh, I do get out into the field sometimes, yes. Did you get out into the uh, Seville Trail Fields? Uh, yes, on a couple occasions. W which areas did you personally visit? Uh, there was uh, s some properties in uh, Madison County, Hamilton County, Gilcrest County, Osceola County. I think that may be all that I personally visited. Right. Did you visit those because there were findings there, or were you... For in, some other reason. In some cases, it was uh, because there were findings there that I mm -hmm. wanted to also take a look at in the field. Uh, in other cases, uh, the Gilcrest County, for example, was because it was the first day of the project and I was getting the field crew started on uh, how I expected the work to be done. So on a uh, project that covers, say, uh, well, let's say 100 miles of mm -hmm. linear coverage, how many site locations would there be that, that, that would actually be uh, investigated? Uh, you mean how many are, t are typically found in no, 100 sorry. miles or the phase two investigation? No, my, my, my question is uh, how is 100 linear feet conducted? Do you randomly go every 10 feet, every oh, 10 well, miles? Okay, I see. Uh, we have a probability model that uh, breaks the, uh, the route into either high probability, medium probability, or low probability. For low probability, we go every 100 meters, uh, so about 300 feet. Uh, for medium probability, we would do two lines at 50 meter intervals. And for high probability, we would do three lines at 25 meter intervals. Is that, a, uh, is that protocol set by uh, some industry? Uh, that's standard practice and uh, it follows the SHPO's guidelines pretty closely. Would a, uh, a finding of deadhead logs be considered a protected cultural resource? Uh, typically, we don't record those unless we have something special like a, evidence of a canoe. Does your, your team, your crew, your shop, uh, go below the water surface? Uh, do you have, uh, on land, you mean? Under the water table? Besides land, you go below the water surface. 
not the water table, but oh, below the water surface. Uh, we do do some uh, underwater surveys. Right. And do you know if uh, Cardinal's cultural resource uh, surveys uh, went below the uh, water in the Suwannee River? Uh, yes, we did do a uh, underwater survey of the Suwannee River. And did you do an underwater survey of the Withacoochee River? Objection, Your Honor, relevance. Project doesn't touch the Withacoochee River. <coughs> well, the the uh, project did. It's one of the uh, perhaps one of the avoidances that the witness spoke of. Who well, doesn't now? Can you just so what purpose would you require? Can you explain, uh, can you identify the, uh, the avoidance project, uh, how do I say this, the project design avoidance instances? For the three sites? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, one site is, uh, and I can't, if I had the map I could point to it. Uh, one site is on, is in uh, the north end of Suwannee County, and it was along an original route. <coughs> so it's up here, and uh, the route currently uh, avoids it by about a mile and a half, or a little more than a mile and a half to the east. Uh, what made it significant? Uh, it was a significant prehistoric site with uh, a lot of findings. Uh, they actually had evidence of a prehistoric house there, which is rare to find features like that. Uh, the other site is down in, uh, the other two sites are right next to each other, and they were in Marion County right down here. Uh, those were both historic sites of an old turpentine distillery. Um, were they found in a phase one or phase two? Uh, they were found in a, a, a phase one, and then we did fa additional phase two uh, research there, and it actually broke this a single site out into multiple sites. Do you know when uh, phase two was completed? Uh, the phase two for that, I want to say it was completed, my memory is corrected, be around May that we did that one, May of 2015. Would you happen to know the date of what you refer to as uh, Respondents Exhibit 8? Look <coughs> yeah. oh, right there to your right, sir. This one? The smaller one. Oh. Exhibit 8. We're talking tab eight, the ERP. Yes, the excerpts. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact date that this was written. Do you have any? Um Material that would help you identify the date that was written? Uh, not with me, no. Could you turn to page 9 of that book? Tab 9, rather? Okay. Have you, have you seen that correspondence from uh, the yes. Department of State before? Yes, I have. Okay. And that's dated October 5th, 2015. Would you agree? Okay, the second page in here is, yes. I'm sorry, it's the second page. And the first page is dated October 1st, 2015? Correct. So, so reading from those two documents, does that help you in any way identify the date of completion, the, uh, the date that the uh, excerpts in 8-1 to 8-5 were uh, 
created? No, because these are review uh, uh, SHPO review letters for phase two reports that we did. They're not reviews of that excerpt document. Based on your experience, the number of findings that you found, two, perhaps three, broken into two, if I understand correctly, mm -hmm. um, is that more, less than something you would typically find in this part of Florida? Uh, for a project of this size, that's kind of typical for actually significant sites. So you want to be correct to uh, assume a lot of times you don't find anything? A lot of times you don't, yes. Uh, I'd like to prove this. Thank you, sir. You redirect? You redirect, Your Honor. Thank you, Doctor. Is that complete the 